Hello everyone. Welcome to MultiVentureX. Today we are back with another interesting video on Workboard. We will be discussing the Task Board tab available under the Workboard settings. We have already discussed the other elements of Workboard in the previous video, of which we will provide the link in the description box below. With all of us on the same page, let's get started with all the Task Board settings. Here, under this Task Board tab, you will find a list of activities that requires action. As you can see, this page displays a number of boxes under specific section. Let's see the first section. You will receive these boxes in the pending vendor product section after a vendor adds a product from the dashboard. Vendor submits their product and waits for your approval. What you as an admin can do? Either approve the product or may reject it by clicking on the small cross. You can also review and edit the product by clicking on this edit button. Clicking here will transport you to the product page. Once you deem everything, select here and publish the product. Back on our Taskboard page is our next section, the pending vendor section. Below this, you can view the vendors who have registered on your site but are yet to be a part of your marketplace. Similarly, you can either approve the vendor application or can reject the vendor by clicking on this cross. You can also review and edit the vendor by clicking on this edit button. Once satisfied, then click here to approve the vendor. Here from this box, you can view the coupons which are yet to be taken. Whenever the vendors create a coupon, he submits it for your approval. You can again use your superpowers to either approve or reject the coupon by clicking on these buttons. This task will appear on your task list right after you receive commission and in case you have not paid the vendor. You would be reminded of the commission date and time and the due amount that must be paid to the vendor. There are two actions that you can do. Notify the vendor or dismiss this task to stop your tax list from being cluttered. Like any other e-commerce site, the customers or the site visitors have some questions to clear before any purchases or might have some product or vendor related reviews after any purchases. Once the question asked, you as an admin can view them one at a time. With this, we have come to the end of our video. If you like the tutorial, then do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Click on the small red bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. And do check out the description box below for more useful links. Thank you for watching.